box wagon. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, I know that a couple of other YouTubers uh, have also been subscribed to this, but basically it's just a monthly subscription in which you receive some goodies, some yarn, like at least two hanks of yarn a month, um, some specialty yarns. Um, so it's really neat because you can try out things that you have probably never thought of trying before or you have never purchased before. And usually they're very good quality yarns. It's not just some yarn that you can buy at your Michael's Hobby Lobby Joanne's. So um, my husband actually surprised me with a subscription to Yarnbox, a three month subscription, just because he wanted to see how I liked it. And um, so I'm not sure of the pricing. I want to say it's $40 a month. Um, don't quote me on that though, but, uh, he, yeah, he didn't tell me about it. He just went on yarnbox.com and he subscribed me to it. And basically you get to pick out the colors that you like, uh, the materials that you like to work with, so on and so forth. And based on that, they try to, you know, accommodate. Uh, so I got two boxes. I have the January and February box. Now the March box will probably be here next week and after that I must decide whether I want to keep up this subscription or not. But let me show you what I've got. This is what the box looks like if you're not familiar with it. And here it says, caution, yarn inside may cause extreme happiness, which I think is really cute. And then in the back it says where your address is says this person's day is about to get a whole lot better which is so true because if you're a yarn addict like me when you get this box in the mail you'll be like jumping up and down with joy because it's like the most amazing thing ever you know how it is so anyway I'm gonna start just by showing you what's in my January box and then I'll show you the February box and we'll go from there all right my January box it has tissue paper on the inside you open it up and there's your skeins of yarn. Okay. Or skeins or hanks. Hanks. All right. It comes with this introductory little card. This one said, hello 2015. And it had just a little intro and in introducing you to the type of yarns uh, that you will be receiving. And in the back it has, it says granite stitch. Uh, this is for the crocheters, a new stitch to learn. And then it gives you two different patterns. Um, one is for crocheters and one is for knitters, which is really cool because, you know, either you do one or the other, or if you're fortunate enough, you do both. So here they are, and you can find it on your account library uh, under yarnbox.com. So those are goodies that they send you. And then, oh, look at these. Nice. These are by Feederbrook Farm. Let's see. Approximately 100 grams, 260 yards, hand dyed, milled in the US, 100% blue face, Leicester wool. It says colorway is EH. I guess that's the color, EH. But um, if you can see it, it looks the same in the viewfinder. So this is like a kind of like a periwinkle color. Um, with some light lavender, violet, darker, lighter blues. Um, but it is gorgeous. Love, love, love. My husband knows me so well, really. He knows that blue is my favorite color, uh, followed by like the purples and the greens. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, really satisfied with this yarn box. I was thrilled to have it. And I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Maybe I'll try out one of these patterns, of course, obviously, they give you enough yarn to um, be able to complete this project. So I will try to figure out what I'm going to do with it, but it is gorgeous. Okay, so that was January's. Now let me show you February's. Same box, same deal. Alright, again it comes with a little intro. It says, Fiber Lovers, it's February. And then in the back, it gives you another stitch. This time it's for the knitters, the double garter stitch. So that's really cool. And then they give you 
one designer apparently this time, but it has two patterns. So this is the knit pattern. It's for a pinstripe shawl and the one in the back is for a crochet pattern and interval towel. So that's really cool. And again, the yarn that they provide you with is what you can use to work on this. All right, you ready? You ready? Bam! Look at that. Woohoo! This one's really cool. This one is by Sincere Sheep. It's in the color Aegean. Oh, I like the Aegean Ocean. Aegean Sea. Okay. Um, let's see. Hand dyed. 50% Tussa Silk, 85% Paulworth Wool. DK yarn, 4 ounce, 330 yards. And I am in love with this color. It is so beautiful. Like, wow. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I think it looks the same on the viewfinder, too. Um, it is just a lush color. Like, I told you I'm, like, addicted, obsessed with the color blue. Any shade of blue, really. Especially the sky-looking blues. But then I also like the darker colors. Like, oh, this one. This one is by Knitted Wit. And... It says 85% Polworth wool, 50% silk, 4 ounces, 330 yards. And it's in the color Black Forest. So this looks like a dark teal, um, yeah, kind of like a greenish, like a forest green-ish color. But I love colors like this too, like the deep, rich colors. I find it absolutely adorable. Like, wow. Um, so yeah, and they also give you an opportunity, by the way, on yarnbox.com to where you can purchase more of these, um, from these companies if you'd like, if you really like the yarn that you received. Now these are high quality yarns, so I'm not even sure how much they actually retail for because it doesn't say, but I'm thinking these were pretty pricey. Um, but yeah, that was it for that month. But I love it. So, in conclusion, I think that when my last box comes next week, that I'm probably going to extend my subscription because I was, you know, very surprised, pleasantly surprised by what I received and I would really like to receive more. Um, it is just an amazing concept for those knitters for shares out there uh yeah thanks for doing that for us yay okay anyway enough of that um i've been working on several things kind of wrapping up the cold season um with last minute orders for scarves and hats and so forth um i had a unique order which i'm going to show you because it's the only one i have left my sister as i probably told you several times is a photographer and she has a photo shoot coming up for a mommy to be and she wanted me to make her a maternity sash now when she told me that i had no idea what that was never heard of it believe it or not as i am not a mother but she uh showed me some pictures sent me some pictures from pinterest uh, kind of to give me an idea and wow they're really beautiful and she told me kind of her vision for it, what colors she wanted. She wanted like a gender neutral colors for the thing. So this is what I came up with. Right here. This is what goes over the mommy's belly. And I crocheted four of these flowers. This big one here, the rose. And I used like antique colors. So that's what she wanted. And then I embellished it with other uh, fabric flowers, which I did not make. I purchased them, but I did add a little bling to some of them. Um, but yeah, I am going to get into that too, where I want to start making my own fabric flowers. It doesn't seem all that difficult. And this is what the sash looks like. It's a lace sash, which is really cool. And in the back, if you're curious, I just hot glued everything together. And um, kind of like glued it onto uh, felt and put it here too and that was it 
and uh, my sister was very pleased with it. Thank God. I'm so glad. Um, because sometimes, you know, family can be uh, your toughest clients sometimes. They can be your toughest uh, people to work with. But yeah, she was super happy, so I'm glad. That's about all the things that I've been working on. Uh, as always, I'm on Instagram constantly. Some things I post to Facebook, but not as often. I'm mostly on Instagram, um, so you can follow me there. Um, I can't make you any promises, but as always, I'm going to try to come out with more videos for you guys. At least, if they're not necessarily tutorials, just something to keep you guys amused and entertained. Uh, just give me ideas, you have any questions for me, whatever. Just let me know in the comments below. And uh, I appreciate all of you viewers for watching my videos, as silly as some of these may be. But I appreciate it anyway. Um, and all of you who are new, welcome to my channel and I hope you're having a good time. And I guess that's all. I'll see you in my next video then. Talk to you guys later. Mwah!